let's start off by safely raising and supporting the vehicle and removing all five of our lug nuts and then the wheel. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is move along here to the ball joint nut. Now for this one right here, I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter. I'm gonna start turning this counterclockwise. Now in general, if you're doing this lower control arm, you don't necessarily need to take the entire front end apart to be able to do this. But if you did wanna to torque this to the manufacturer's specifications, which is recommended, you would have to pretty much take the whole thing apart and then just get it so the knuckles flopping around with just this. Um, so to get it done quicker, we're just going to go ahead and use our 19 millimeter to remove this nut. Get that nut off of there. We'll set that aside. Now the next thing we're going to have to do is use a pickle fork and a hammer. We're going to start separating the ball joint from the lower control arm. The pickle fork is going to go right in between the area where you can see the boot. I'll come through from the front. Now let's use a pry bar. We're going to carefully pull down on that lower control arm a little bit. We can separate the two, just slide this aside, being very careful not to put a tug on our axle. Now we're going to come right up here to the forward mounting bolt for our control arm. Let's use a 17 millimeter swivel. If you need to, you can carefully push this up to remove it. Now that that's nice and loose, let's move along to the rearward bolt. We're going to use a 19 millimeter socket up on the top nut to hold it still. And then we'll come down underneath and remove the bolt using a 19 millimeter as well. Remove your bolt. Remove that bolt as well. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is carefully press up against this and we're gonna just push it out of the way so we have plenty of clearance to move this control arm out and away from the vehicle. To do that, I'm gonna use my pry bar right up inside this area and gently start prying it away. Just keep in mind, there's nothing holding this in, so don't get yourself in a point where you might get hurt. Pry this out of here. And there it is, friends. All right, now it's time to install our brand new lower control arm. Let's go ahead and take this and we're gonna start lining up the rearward hockey puck bushing. When I do this, I'm gonna start pressing it in while I swing the entire um, front end a little bit out of the way. We should be able to get it in there. If you needed to, you could also use a rubber mallet and just give this a couple loving bonks to drive it into place. We're just going to try to get this hockey puck bushing lined up. Sometimes the easiest way to do this is just using a long Phillips head screwdriver. I want to carefully get in between here and then I can go ahead and pivot this bushing a little bit. At this point I can slide it right up and through which tells me that it should be pretty well lined up that I can get my bolt up in there. Now we can get the nut on there. Now we can take our forward mounting bolt. You want to of course have this hole lined up. If you needed to, you can use your rubber mallet and just tap on either side of this control arm. That's going to help you get this hole lined up. Now of course we're going to start this bolt in by hand. All right, let's get this lined up. I can press it right up in there. Perfect. Now we're going to take our brand new nut. When you look at the nut, what you're going to notice is one side of it has a neoprene locker on it and the other side doesn't. The side that has the neoprene needs to be facing up and away from the ball joint. Now we're going to go ahead and bottom out the nut. Okay, now if you were going to torque this, you would want to torque it to 65 foot-pounds. 
Now with the axle in the way, as you can tell, it's going to be very difficult to get a torque wrench and a socket on there. But if you happen to have a crow's foot or something the like, you can go ahead and torque that to the 65. For me personally, I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight with a larger wrench. The next thing that we're going to want to do before we can tighten any more of our mounting bolts is to go ahead and put something underneath the control arm so we can start bringing this up into the ride height position. You don't want to tighten up the bolts with it sitting down like this. When you go ahead and jack this up, be very careful not to damage the ball joint. By pressing in the center right here, you're going to cause some serious damage and you're probably going to have to replace the entire control arm again. I'm just going to go right around it onto the two lips. We'll jack this up. And now we can of course bottom out our bolts and torque them to manufacturer specification. Now we can torque this rear bolt to 130 foot-pounds. Torque the forward bolt to 87 foot-pounds. Let's get this out of here. Okay, now it's time to put our wheel back on. Let's get this in position. We're going to start on all five of our 21 millimeter lug nuts. We'll bottom these out, get the wheel back on the ground, and then we're going to torque each of the lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds. Torqued. Okay friends, we got our control arm in there. What's left to do now? Now you want to safely take it for a road test down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching.